Yeah, um, it's, it's changed obviously since Tyler passed. I mean, ever since we knew that May was Mental Health Awareness Month, I mean, we kind of just were aware of the situation. And then um, my mom being the mom that she is, she decided to create the Mental Health Awareness, the three for three challenge uh, for Helensky's Hope. And she just, she's ran, she just ran her third marathon in Hawaii um, this past month. So my whole perspective on, on everything like that, just it just means a lot more to me. It just means a lot more to everybody I think that I've talked to. I've tried to explain stories and just show the importance of what it means to be healthy and all that stuff and mean that it's okay to not be okay. And it's just a lot of stuff that comes with it, just a lot of emotions. So definitely it's changed a lot for me. I think uh, mental health amongst college athletes in particular. Seems feral. Something Sorry. that's maybe talked about more. Yeah. I think it's still talked about enough. It, it needs to be talked about more. NCAA needs to do something about it. Um, I think I think it's just becoming too big of an issue, and I think we need to figure something out. Um, but the good thing is I think we're talking about it more. Obviously, it comes at the expense, the sadness, the tragedy of, of those six female student athletes that recently passed away. Um, it just sucks, sorry, I'm just getting emotional, but like it just stinks. But I think, I think it's kept going down the right path, but I think there still needs a lot more to be done. How do you continue to work through the emotions of everything and prioritize your mental health? Yeah, I mean, um, I try and experience every emotion that comes. You know, I, I don't block anything. I don't let anything get away from me because, you know, I want to be the strong guy or anything like that. Um, I just, it just helps, too, when you've got two great parents like my parents, and it helps, too, when you talk about it with other student-athletes um, and when they want to talk about it with you, too. It just shows that they care. It shows that it's important, uh, and that, that helps me manage all of the emotions and cope with a lot of things. I think you said it there, but we don't necessarily talk about these things until yeah. something tragic happens. Yeah. Just Lee Helinski's hope was created out of something tragic. Right. But looking back at all the good work that you and your family have been able to do, what do you yeah. think it's done for Tyler's legacy and how he's helped maybe other students? It's helped a lot. Um, I w I've said this a couple times, but I think with the passing of Tyler's lives, he saved so many lives. And, and it it's, it's hard to say that um, because I'd rather have my brother standing here doing this interview with me, but um, it started the conversation. It started the conversation where w the stigma around student athletes being too tough to talk about their mental health. No, oh, man, you're a human being. You go through a lot more than the average human being on a daily basis, and you've got a lot more stuff going on in your head. You've got to talk to somebody about it. So I'm thankful, obviously, for Helensky's Hope. I wish Tyler was here this weekend. Um, but I think we're moving in the right direction.